I am no one, Gabrielle. I have no sparkles. <laughs> she looks dangerous and fun. <laughs> Whatever, nope. man. You kicked that song's ass. He did kick that song's ass. Those body lines. <laughs> wow. Hi, guys. This is Blade again. I'm Ginger. And I am Mike. And Finn had a suggestion for a Blackbriar song. Ooh, we've done some Blackbriar and enjoyed them in the past. Indeed, we have. Now, Finn suggested Arms of the Ocean. I think there was another one he suggested too, and I can't remember what it was. But anyway, uh, so we looked and they had an official video, but then we saw that they had an acoustic live. Yeah, and this is a band we haven't seen perform live yet. No, so, so we decided to give that one a yeah, shot. Yeah, we're going to do that. The, yeah, so let's see. Such a great voice. Mm -hmm. For she sounds so sweet. I cannot leave her all alone. Here in this deep and dark blue unknown. Come swim to me in a foreign motion. Lie with me in the arms of the ocean. To me, my lady of the sea, show me the way with your melody. Oh, my dear, unwary sailor, come to my shore. It's way safer than the roaring sea. She's pulling me 
<laughs> We've had the same kind of <laughs> technical. So I'm guessing this wasn't one take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a funny little exclamation point on something so dark. <laughs> yeah. Could you, could you not feel the ocean? Like there were I points really could. where. So you would think that to get a swelling feeling, you, you might go like lo nice. louder and softer. But there was also stuff melodically where, where the melody actually swelled, even at the same dynamic level. I was actually thinking exactly the same thing, that it felt like I was on a boat that was rocking, mm. right? Yeah. It was exactly the same feeling. Yeah, it really did, though. It was fabulous. They have um, this song in particular. As a kind of a Victorian decadent mm. sound. Yeah, they do sound like from another time, don't they? Yeah, they really do. Not it's... just this one, but like I think everything we've done by then. Yeah, this one I think is more so than some of the other ones, if I recall. Um, her voice is a big part of that because mm -hmm. it has that kind of tinkly Like an old-timey feeling. Yeah, yeah, like a music box sound, mm. right? Which is fabulous. But I really actually liked the acoustic treatment in here. The, the piano sounded... Big, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, sure did. It's hard. To, it's very good. Very good technical Great term. term. Come on. <laughs> you don't always have to be but technical. Did, the, the keyboard sounds sounded plunky, like an old piano, mm -hmm. right? Instead of uh, so, so with her tinkly voice up here and that big plunky piano down there, mm -hmm. and the guitar just kind of lightly strumming over the top of it. It was there were like kind of deep layers on mm -hmm. that. It was beautiful. Yeah. What a great song. I don't know what the original sounds like, but I don't know if I could hear it any other way now. Right? It really seems so well suited to that <laughs> presentation, that arrangement. That was great. Okay. So thanks, Finn, for the suggestion. I will happily... We love Blackbriar. They mm. actually do really well. So we're going to do more of that for sure. I will probably look at some of the other suggestions too. Mm. Hopefully you all enjoyed that as well, enough that you're going to want to say, play it again. Don't forget to hit like. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. You can find us on Twitter. We are at Play It Again MG. And thanks for coming out, guys. <laughs>